Hello, welcome to everyone. In this video, this is part one of the solution uh, of solid state physics uh, for semester six, which are asked in 2021. Today, we want to discuss question number one, A to G. Uh, this is actually question 2020 <coughs> 20, but uh, for semester 5th, uh, this is actually question of 21, okay. So, you can see that is the question number 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Let's start. First question says determine the mirror indices of a set of parallel planes which makes intercept in ratio 3a is to 4b on x and y axis and parallel to z axis where a, b, c are primitive vector of the lattice. So here they intersect at 3a, 4b and infinity. So if you divide it by the unit primitive vector lattice that is a, b and c you will be obtained this one. If you simplify this is 4, 3. 0 so the mirror indices is 4 3 0 next question distinguish between crystalline and amorphous solid is suitable example crystalline solids mean the crystal plane that is the atomic arrangement is periodically arranged in all over the crystal all over the solid then this is called crystalline in the total solid the planes are regularly arranged and these are the same planes within this total arrangement is known as crystalline example is quartz another for amorphous where these planes are not regularly uh, these are arranged in random orientation then this is called amorphous for example glass next question will the all effect change sign in reverse the direction of applied magnetic field justify your answer think this is a material semiconductor or metal if you apply this current through this uh, material and this is a perpendicular to the magnetic field then the force applied on the charge which are moving through this conductor is like that if equal to qv cross b that is i l cross b if you uh, cross product this i cross b if the charge is uh, force along that direction that's why there is a charge separation and produce the whole voltage perpendicular to this b and i uh, if you draw the uh, if you put a voltmeter across these two points you will be obtain a voltage this is the whole effect and whole voltage and if you reverse the magnetic field the uh, cross product which says that the force will be uh, along that direction so the whole voltage will be reversed so the all effects uh, sign also reverse next explain hysteresis on the basis of domain theory if you does not have any magnetic field within a domain then the total magnetization is zero uh, the dipoles of domain are arranged in such a way but if you apply the magnetic field the dipoles wants to align or uh, with the uh, along the external magnetic field and uh, the magnetization is not equal to zero at the saturation uh, when all the dipoles are aligned to the external magnetic field then it's produced the saturation magnetization now if you reduce the magnetic field and become zero but uh, all <coughs> the total magnetization is not equal to zero there are written some magnetization this is called hysteresis because its lots is history uh, if you find out the graph or nature of this graph will be like that this is this is the applied uh, magnetic field and this is the magnetization so uh, um, applied magnetic field magnetization is reduced and this is the saturation but when reduce the magnetic field this magnetization does not become zero it's written some uh, magnetization called retentivity so its lots is history this cannot follow up its initial path that's why this is hysteresis next question says the relative permittivity of an argon at NTP is like that calculate the electronic polarizability the Clausius master relation says like that so electronic polarizability will be like that put this value will be often this type of expression next question sketch the temperature variation of specific heat of superconductor and normal metal in the same graph in case of the specific heat versus temperature versus specific heat graph for normal metal this will be like that for superconductor this will be like that after t greater than tc this becomes the same as the normal metal if, if you just draw this curve in case of 
super conductor after this this will be follow up this path okay so this is for super conducting material and this is for normal metal T uh, above, above T greater than TC, the superconductor behaves like a normal matter. Next question says, what is the physical significance of Fermi level in semiconductor? Actually, in the semiconductor, Fermi level says the probability of occupation of the electron at different energy levels. That's the main importance of the Fermi level. From this Fermi level, you can obtain the uh, density of electron, number of uh, so, uh, holes within the semiconductor relative proportion of whole electron with the uh, temperature etc etc will be obtained from this Fermi level in the semiconductor. You, you can see at the zero Kelvin temperature uh, these uh, valence band are totally occupied conduction band is zero that's why Fermi level and this. For intrinsic semiconductor you can see that is <laughs> valence band conduction band some electron jump to this conduction band and produce the whole same number of hole in the valence band that's why the probability is in the middle point these are the fermi level but in case of the n type this is uh, for intrinsic this, this is t not equal to 0 kelvin this is t equal to 0 kelvin now if you adopt the uh, n type material this fermi level jump towards the conduction band where there is the probability there is the probability of electron will be increased that's why the Fermi level towards the uh, conduction band because the number of electrons are larger than the number of hole it within this valence band this is n type semiconductor n type semiconductor in case of the p type semiconductor the number of holes are larger that's why this towards the towards the valence band compared to the conduction band there are three electron minority area there are large number of hole majority carrier this is for p type semiconductor so that's it for today next class we will be discuss the upcoming question also this is all about me this is my contact details and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel it will be definitely related video like this session share this video subscribe this channel press the bell icon to get notification of so take care we'll meet to the next video as soon as possible thank you